my name is Rachel O'Neill and on today's Whiteboard Wednesday we're going to talk about how the residential property management life cycle and how MRI Living is helping residential properties across the globe attract and retain great residents, simplify the lives of every community member, and build strong communities that all of your members thrive in from the customer to the boardroom. At MRI we break this life cycle into six unique stages and we're going to dive into each of those stages today. The first stage is get noticed. So the first thing you want to do is get your property noticed by potential residents. And in today's day and age, most online and consumer um, buying cycles start with online research. So they're looking for information online. So you want to make sure your properties are standing out on Google and you're seamlessly able to publish all of your available units with pricing out to the ILS sites. And you want your property manager to easily be able to do that. But when they find your property online, make sure you're showing great and enticing information on your site that you can easily manage and update as time goes on because you want to provide the most relevant and up-to-date information that encourages them to reach out and make the first contact. So once they decide they are interested in your property, they're going to contact you either via phone, email, web chat, web form, or possibly even walking in, which then brings us into our next stage of close the deal. So during close the deal, you get this new lead and you want to make sure you're tracking that lead source so you can track you know, future um, advertising and marketing and see what's working the best. But during the close the deal stage, you want to make sure you're nurturing the leads through the funnel with relevant and timely information that is really um, authentic and personalized to the specific applicant. Also during the close the deal stage, you want to make the application process as seamless as possible um, and really automate the lead to lease process. This will not only give the applicant a good experience, but also help your property manager stay on task and really focus on building a great relationship with the applicant and really nurturing them through the funnel. So you close the deal. The next stage is um, run smoothly. Your property managers are constantly multitasking and doing different things throughout the day. So they need clear and full visibility into all of their activities from a single solution. This run smoothly is so important um, because they need to stay on top of everything and make sure that nothing is you know, falling through the cracks which will ultimately impact the resident experience. And this ties directly into our next stage of WOW residents. Wowing your residents is so important and actually it ties right back to the get notice stage because if your current residents aren't happy, they're not going to promote your property either via word of mouth, via online reviews, or social media. And there's a ton of data out there that shows that um, online reputation and reviews are so important to the buying journey for apartments um, and people are looking at reviews you know to find a property but also at their final decision making so you need to wow your residents with great self-service tools and give them 24 7 access to your community um, so they can find information about any maintenance requests renewals make payments as well as any upcoming events either at your property or in the community and then the next stage is know the score. Knowing the score is really all about your financials and um, really puts a pulse on the health of your business. So this includes your financial data, budgets versus actuals, and seeing how you're performing and being able to identify any operational inefficiencies um, so you can improve that, know how you're performing today, and then ultimately plan ahead. Planning ahead will really help you boost your revenue and meet your goals. And in the plan ahead stage, you know, we talked about budgets versus actuals. This is really forecasting. So you want the ability to manipulate and do some scenario testing in your forecasting, such as what happens if you adjust your pricing, what happens if some regulation comes in, or if you add more units or do some renovations. Test these different scenarios to see how your property will perform and if you're going to meet the proper revenue numbers. But also get quick and actionable insight into different dashboards that you can communicate with your senior leadership or investors and other key stakeholders to keep them informed. So those are our six stages of MRI living and stay tuned for our next three Whiteboard Wednesdays where we'll dive into each of these stages a little bit more. Thank you.